The dramatization you are about to see is based on an actual, investigated, and documented case history of psychic phenomena. It is the next step beyond. I was on my way to Bridgeport. Uh, I think I'm lost. You must have missed the turnoff. It's uh, almost 60 miles away. You're kidding. Say, do you, do you know where I can find a, a motel around here? Well, there's um, there's an inn. It's just up the road. You can't miss it. You need a lift? No. You sure? OK. Thank you. He cannot as yet know it. Chris Stabler has taken the first step into an area of experience denied to most of us. He will find it by turns intriguing, puzzling, moving, and eventually threatening, shocking, and terrifying. It will leave him with a memory that will haunt him the rest of his life. I'm looking for a room. Do you have a vacancy? Yes, sir. Come in. Thank you. If you'll wait here, sir, I'll see if there's a room ready. Fine. Chris Stabler. Miss Argus. Pleasure. How on earth did you find this place? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I got lost. H and on the way up the path, I, uh, I, I heard what sounded like a party. Do you, do you know where that was coming from? Ah, you heard it too. Your room, Miss Reddy, sir. Thanks. Well, I, I, I'm sure I'll see you again. Sure is some place, isn't it? I overheard you and Miss Argus talking about hearing a party. I think I should warn you, sir. 
Miss Argus has a vivid imagination. She's a writer. Ghost stories, that sort of thing. Well, uh, I heard the party too, Mr. Uh... Combs. Peter Combs. And you must be mistaken, sir. The nearest house is almost half a mile away. Well, thanks a lot, Peter. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, this place is just wonderful. I, I'm going to stay here for a while. Do you think that's wise? What do you mean? <laughs> it's hardly the place anyone would choose for a holiday. It's dull, lonely. And then there are those strange noises, the dancing and the singing. You've heard them again, haven't you? As a matter of fact, yes. And it came from nearby, despite what Mr. Combs said. <laughs> Mr. Stabler, there was no party. That's the point. Oh, come on, Miss Argus. Look, you and I will find it, and we'll go do some dancing. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Mr. Chris Stabler, Miss Lucy Ann Court, the other guest at the inn. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Go ahead. Oh, that's very good. Well, uh... Really? I, I'm just starting on landscapes. Most of my work has been in portraiture. Could I see some? Well, sure. I have some right here, I think. I think I do. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Well, maybe I could draw you sometime. All right. The style of the new one isn't like the other two at all. Well, I... I've never drawn landscapes before. Almost as if it were done by two different people. Hmm. You know, I want to thank you for suggesting this place to me. I don't understand. I, I've never seen you before. Oh, oh, come on. Yesterday on the on the road, you showed me the way to the inn. What? Yeah, you were wearing a long white dress. You must be mistaken. I spent the night in Wellside. That's 75 miles from here, and I uh, just got back a few minutes ago. Good evening. Good evening. You seem to doubt my word this morning about the party. I thought perhaps you'd like to join me in a little ghost hunting. <laughs> See which of us is right. Of course, Miss Argus. I never could resist a dare. <laughs> if the inn uh, is haunted, as you say, why do you suppose it is? I don't know its history. I just stumbled on this place. But I'm going to stay here till I find out. <laughs> well, um... I guess I should tell you, I don't believe in ghosts. But you hear a party in progress. Now, if it's not a ghost party, you certainly should be able to find it. It's true. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
there's no use looking. I've done this before. You won't find anything. <laughs> <laughs> and I suppose you're gonna tell me tomorrow that we didn't meet here in the trees? Well, I've got a witness this time. No. No, I'm real enough. And so are you. And you have on that same white dress you did yesterday when I met you by the side of the road. Why do you keep saying we met yesterday? Because we did. I don't suppose you could help us find the party. The party? <laughs> you mean you've heard nothing? No. I'm a sensitive. I always have been. ESP is what they call it now. Well, I'm not Miss Argus. But you say that you saw Miss Court at a crossroads nearby, and she says she was 75 miles away. And you hear the sounds from nowhere that I hear. And your style changes overnight. Your portrait of Miss Court is nothing like the others. Well, that's perfectly true. But I don't understand why. And there was a party, and we just haven't found it yet. And Lucy... You were standing at the crossroads yesterday. There was no party, Mr. Stabler. And I wasn't at the crossroads, Chris. Lucy. Lucy. My dear. What? <laughs> now you've moved your head. I think that's enough for today. Mr. Combs is taking the bus to town. I think I'll go with him, do some shopping. I'll be back by dinner. Sure. You see, Mr. Stabler, there was a party here, but it was a long, long time ago. Mr. Combs keeps this room locked. I was just waiting for him to leave. Well, someone held wild parties here, and it was obviously a long while ago. And it's echoed down through time for those who have ears to hear. Well, do I look all right? <laughs> you look great. Lucy, listen, I've decided that this is going to be our last sitting, at least here. Why? Well, I think you're right. This place could be too dangerous for us. Oh, you said you didn't believe in ghosts. I know, but I believe in danger. And that's why I'm going to load up our things tonight in my car so we can leave tomorrow morning. Our things? Well, I know it sounds a little high-handed, but uh, I'm concerned about your safety. <laughs> oh, there you go. I know it's not finished yet, but uh, we can finish at any place now. You 
sure you won't change your mind, Miss Argus? Now, you're welcome to come with us in the morning. I have a confession to make. All my life, I've been writing ghost stories. I can't tell you how many seances I've attended, how many haunted houses I've stayed in. But I've never actually seen a ghost. Wild horses couldn't drag me from this inn. I have to see what I have to see. Well, I hope you find what you're looking for. Nothing more. Is this the place you were looking for? Oh, I thought it was. But I guess I was wrong. I... Sheriff, I don't understand why, why we couldn't find a sign or a road to the inn. Looks like the fire department told you last night, sir. There's no inn around here. But, but I know there was. The, the, there were people there. Oh, wait a second. I, I, I can prove it to you. I painted a picture of the inn while I was staying there. May I, sir? You must think I'm out of my mind. No, sir, not really. You see, you were right about one thing. There was a place here once. It was before my time. But a lot of the older residents of the town, they still talk about it. A girl from a very wealthy family bought the place, especially for her parties. And she had lots of them. One love affair after another. Drove her husband to suicide. Well, what happened to the place? After a woman was strangled at one of the parties, the townspeople had had enough. Came up here and burned it to the ground. Uh, this girl. Do you remember what her name was? Yeah, uh, uh, Luciana Court. Something like that. Uh, 
Do you know exactly where this place was? Around here, somewhere. Well, do you mind if we look some more? Okay. Well, that about does it. Guess we might as well be getting back. Yeah. Well, Sheriff, I want to thank you. You've uh, really been very patient. Uh, you're welcome. Oh, my God. You recognize her? Yeah. She was killed last night at the fire at the end, but... but there's not a burn on her body. I don't understand. Who was she? Her name was Miss Argus. She said she stayed on because she... I finally wanted to see a ghost. How did Chris Stabler know that there was once an inn on this spot? Well, there could be any number of logical explanations for that. But unlike most of the hundreds of recorded case histories of ghostly apparitions, this one left some very real evidence. The body of Miss Argus, who had to see for herself. There are still many, many more questions than answers about the next step beyond. But the answers are beginning to catch up, which is why the future seems to be such a fascinating place for all of us.